Good morning, kind people of the internet. Today, the first thing I'd like to do is clean my lesson room. Okay, so over here, this is very organized. This is a thing of blank CDs. I'm not sure why I still have that. We have SpongeBob. These are some old reads. Sound absorption panels. Another pile of music. More electronics. Some stickers, uh, more reeds, a clarinet. So this past weekend, I had the pleasure of playing with a really good high school jazz band, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about that experience. But first, I wanna go on a run. It is a beautiful day in Indianapolis. So the band I got to play with was the Whiteland Community High School Group. And they actually have about four jazz ensembles and maybe like three or four combos too. So it was a long concert. So the top jazz band at Whiteland High School was actually chosen to participate in the Essentially Ellington program in New York a couple of years ago, which is pretty incredible. Um, for one, just to have a band from Indiana represent, but also there are only a handful of schools in the whole country that are picked for this. Um, you actually have to make a recording and then it goes through this whole process um, where you get eventually, if you're chosen, you get to go to New York and then play at uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center. And you get to meet Wynton Marsalis and other guys from the band and they come work with you and everything. And then you're critiqued by judges. So the program at this school is really strong and the band directors are doing a great job. So I'm always happy when I get to go there. It was great because I knew some of the students already. Some of them have taken lessons from me and then I've known some of them through the Allstate Jazz Band. Um, and then also I've come to that particular school before just to do saxophone sectionals. So it's fun to be able to just show up and have some of the students just recognize you and just come up to you and start talking to you and maybe ask you questions. Um, and then we did a short rehearsal beforehand. Um, I was playing on four tunes. Um, so we just ran through the tunes, did sound check, and that was it. And then we, we had dinner and did the show. The thing that I loved in particular was that students and parents would come up to me af afterwards just to talk a little bit, um, just to say hi. Um, but a couple of the students will come up, you know, for a picture and then they'll start asking questions, which is awesome because it gives me an idea where their mindset is with everything and, and helps me to kind of uh, gauge maybe what the best thing to say to a particular student would be. Um, but a few of them in particular will, will come up, ask questions, and then I'll give my answer. We'll be talking, and then uh, it seems like the conversation might be coming to a close, and then they're just standing there. Uh, waiting, waiting for me to keep talking, because um, they don't want to leave. They, they want to keep it going, which is really fun, because I feel like some of these kids would hang out with me all day, every day if I let them. We could just go to McDonald's or whatever and they, they just want to kind of pick my brain, which is so cool because just that curiosity and that interest in music and um, somewhat what I do just as like a musician and a teacher, um, just the fact that they're thinking about that and they want to know what's going on in my head is super interesting to me. And in my opinion, those are the ideal students, the ones that are just like sponges. They're there just to soak every possible ounce of knowledge up that they possibly can.
that's the thing I like the most about experiences like this, um, even besides the music, which was great. <laughs> Being around students of that age group and getting a glimpse into their mindset and their perspective um, and just feeling their curiosity, um, just all of that is, is just gives me my own perspective um, and makes me think back to that time when I was maybe m more open-minded just about music, but just about how to go about things and um, making a career and, and and making artistic choices and all that stuff. Um, I feel like their minds are just so wide open and it's just so refreshing because a lot of times adults are not like that. And, and so getting to work with students, you, you totally feel that. So I'm very thankful when I get to have experiences like that and hopefully I get to work with a lot more high school groups in the future. I'm in the dressing room of the high school about to iron this shirt that I just bought at Kohl's because I forgot to bring a shirt with me to wear with my suit. One of the nice things about wearing a suit is that you only have to iron this part like right here.